Good morning everyone. Today we are going to be taking the Amtrak down Easter from Exeter all the way to Old Orchard Beach. Old Orchard Beach is a seasonal stop along the Amtrak route and I'm really looking forward to seeing a train stop that's right next to a beach. Our day starts at the Exeter Amtrak station. To save time, be sure to buy your tickets in advance or head on over to Jerry's to purchase tickets at a ticket station, but you must have tickets before getting on the train. The information board at the station has destination booklets for easy reading on the train. The route from Exeter to Old Orchard Beach takes a little over an hour. Plenty of time to eat a snack. Or, if you didn't have one of your own, head to the cafe car to grab something to eat. After arriving, if you're like me, it's time to head straight to the water. But before you do, step into the visitor center located next to the train stop for some activity ideas and coupons for the surrounding area. Old Orchard Beach has been a tourist destination since 1631. It's popular with New Englanders and Canadians alike. Rail service between Boston and Portland opened in 1842, allowing for a growth in tourism. There are two highlights to this beach, the pier and New England's only seaside carnival. I have reached the beach finally. It is a gorgeous day. Just look at that water, the clouds, the sky is perfect. Awesome beach day. And check out this really cool pier. And a carnival. After taking in the sights, enjoying the waves, and maybe collecting some seashells, it's time to get some eats. The original pier opened on July 2nd, 1898, and it spanned an outstanding 1,825 feet out from the shoreline. Unfortunately, in November of 1898, the pier and casino were damaged. After repeated reopenings and subsequent damage, the pier weathered away. That was until 1980, when the current 500-foot pier was built. All right, after enjoying some time on the beach, it is now try time to try some food at the pier. It is the restaurant on the very end of the pier. So let's go ahead and uh, get trying this lobster roll. One of the conductors recommended pier fries, so I had to give them a try. Thank you. So the guys on the train recommended that I try the original pier french fries, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm trying these, which uh, are very crispy. They're really interesting and they taste delicious. I added some salt and I've got some ketchup. Um, a little tiny cup was only $2. After filling up on food, it was time to check out the carnival. Palace Playland is free to enter, but rides and games cost money. The park features over 25 rides and more than 200 games. Opening hours vary. Rides are open at 11 a.m. and stay open as long as there are people at the park. My favorite ride was the Electra Wheel, a gondola style Ferris wheel that allows passengers to get a bird's eye view of the beach and downtown.
fun at Palace Playland, I grabbed a frozen treat, one of my favorite collectible flat pennies, and took to the street for some window shopping. There are plenty of shops along Old Orchard Street, which offer a wide selection of souvenirs, handmade crafts, and sweet treats to take home. I'm just finishing off my day at the Veterans Memorial Park, right across the street from the Antrax station. You may be able to see it in the distance behind me. This is the perfect little spot to relax at the end of your beach day. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at Old Orchard Beach as much as I enjoyed exploring. If you happen to go to Old Orchard Beach in the future, do let me know if you have found this video helpful in making your plans. Thank you so much for Amtrak Down Easter for allowing us to visit today. We will be exploring other destinations along the Amtrak Down Easter and providing Exeter residents with tour guides for each destination. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow us over on Facebook. Here's the link for you to follow us and keep up to date with all of the latest episodes.